best way to prepare your Minnesota home for siding replacement uh, is to make sure that those areas that uh, we're going to be working in, that you've taken any deck furniture, any hose reels, those kinds of things, uh, away from that, that immediate work area. Because we're going to need about two to three feet of space between the walls and, uh, and where we're working. So things like bushes that are, that are close, those either need to be pruned back or tied up. Um, making sure that um, any, the, if you have kids, that you know they know that the siding is being replaced. There's going to be some guys, uh, guys working on site and some dangerous material. So keeping um, kids and, and pets out of the work area helps a lot as well. One other thing that you can do to help is uh, if there's hangings that are on the, the walls, if you have bird feeders or mailboxes, those kinds of things. Some of those things we don't like to, to take down. We want to make sure that, that you take those down uh, ahead of time so that we don't damage those while we're, uh, while we're taking those down. If there's patio furniture, uh, things on the deck, grill, those need to be moved out of the way uh, as well.